This is an important day in the life of the university, a day to celebrate the success of our graduates. It gives me great pleasure to welcome you to this ceremony and to formally declare this congregation of the university open. Please be seated. Deputy Vice-Chancellor, distinguished guests, families, friends, and of course, graduates. My name is Trevor Keeble, and as Executive Dean for the Faculty of Creative and Cultural Industries, it's my very great pleasure to welcome you to this celebration of our students and all that they have achieved. This is your day, and I encourage each of you to take the time to enjoy this moment, to take notice of where you are, who you are with, and most importantly, to reflect on what you have accomplished. What you have achieved is so impressive. It is never easy and it marks a major milestone in your life. It requires grit, wisdom and dedication. And therefore it's right that we take time to mark your achievement with celebrations. But also with the sincerity and gravitas that your qualification deserves. What a privilege it is for us to be sharing this ceremony with you and all of your guests. Once again, our students have been achieving amazing things throughout the year and have been bringing their creativity and ingenuity to a range of real-world challenges. Again this year, numerous members of staff and students from across the schools of film, media and communication and art design and performance have made fantastic contributions to local events and activities, annual events. These include the local Ports Fest, held earlier this uh, summer, Portsmouth Book Fest, the annual literacy festival, and then Portsmouth Comic Con held here at the uh, Guildhall. This year, our MA fashion marketing students took part in a live project with the fo footwear retailer Size and the footwear brand New Balance. This relationship will be extended over the course of the next year as the University of Portsmouth is now one of only nine approved academic partners in this programme. Our postgraduate illustration students, staff and alumni <coughs> contributed an augmented virtual treasure hunt of illustrated and animated animals to the city's We Shine Festival of Art and Light, produced by Portsmouth Create. Congratulations to our television and broadcast students who screened a new show called Pompey Review at Fratton Park. This show was played to the stadium's big screen to a crowd of 18,000 fans. Graduating students Alicia Tromans Ansel, Ella Hinckley, Amber Gronsell, Albertul Jahaf, Erin Fenner, Chris Bone, <coughs> Leanne Russell organised and hosted the successful final year screening for the film and studies media students' final year films, kindly supported by the Number Six Cinema as part of our established and ongoing relationship with Number Six. Earlier this year, when Death Comes Knocking, a BA film graduate, a production graduation, uh, about the Grim Reaper from last year's graduating cohort won a Royal Television Society Award in the Comedy, Drama and Entertainment category at the RTS Awards. Fingers crossed for our graduating films this year. Graduating journalist Joe Brennan received the NUJ Bob Norris Award for Rising Stars of Journalism. Third year journalism student Lauren Cox achieved national coverage with her investigation into child crime and fellow final year journalist Thomas West Anusha Adkari and Maria Lal, along with their tutor Claire Perry, were invited by the council to present their ideas about raising awareness of contamination and recycling to a panel from Portsmouth City Council. These are, this is a great example of the university working with other local bodies to give students real life, uh, uh, presenting real life situations and problems. These are all fantastic achievements of which we are all very proud. We hope that your education and experiences here will have made you proactive and confident individuals that are able to embrace challenges, seize opportunities and confidently make informed career decisions to help you continue to grow and develop throughout your lives. Therefore, it gives me immense pleasure to be able to congratulate you on behalf of the Faculty of Creative and Cultural Industries and indeed of all the staff at the university. We are immensely proud of you and as we know your friends and families are. One of the greatest pleasures for me at graduation is to see and to feel the very great pride that parents, friends and family 
show to our students as they cross the stage and become graduates of the university. And I know that this year will be no different. So before we begin, before we begin that part of the ceremony, I'd like to give you, our soon-to-be graduates, the opportunity to show your appreciation to them for the support that they have given. If you can, do please stand up and turn to your loved ones and your family that are here with you. Do please stand, if you're able to. Cameras out, mums and dads. Uh, and uh, please join me in giving your loved ones a huge round of applause. Great, thank you. You can sit down again for a moment before the next photo op. Of course, there is another group of people that I must thank personally for the part they have played in your success, and that is the wonderful group of colleagues that I have the privilege of working with throughout the faculty and the university. I know my academic colleagues on stage here with me and our many professional support and technical colleagues have striven to do all they can to make your experience and education at the University of Portsmouth as exciting, engaging and re rewarding as they can. And I hope you'll join me in thanking them too. If there is perhaps one word to describe the world over the last few years, it would probably be uncertainty. Our lives seem to have been dominated by financial crises, political austerity, the pandemic, and more generally, division and discord. It could be easy to be pessimistic, but I'm not, and I want to tell you, our graduates, that you shouldn't be either. When I look at you, I see passionate, highly skilled, and educated people, full of ideas, ready and prepared to reshape our world. Seeing you all today is a tremendous feeling and a welcome reminder that whatever our current difficulties, our future is in good hands. I hope that you will feel confident that you are graduating from a university that is recognised as part of a modern global elite of universities, tackling the real world challenges of the 21st century. We have the best rating, TEF Gold, for our teaching and our teaching is informed by a wonderful range of research and innovation activities that ensure it is always thinking about the future. But we plan more, much more. The, vision, the university has a vision that by 2030, we will be the top modern university in the UK and one of the top 100 young universities globally. We plan to become carbon positive by 2030, to be one of the leading civic universities in the country, to open the opportunities we offer to more people that we know can benefit from them. And we plan to translate more of our academic expertise into practical results. We hope that as we realize our vision, we can make you all prouder of your association with the university. As valued professionals, creatives, future leaders and innovators, we of course want you to keep in touch with us throughout your journey. Do please make use of our excellent alumni association and let us know what you're doing. If appropriate, please also make use of our careers and employability service, um, who will be delighted to help you and support you in the next stages of your careers. We hope that today is not the end of our relationship, but the beginning of a new one, as we support the generations of Portsmouth students who will walk in your footsteps in the future. You are their inspiration. I encourage you to step out of this graduation ceremony with confidence and self-belief. More than ever, our world needs people like you, educated, skilled, and experienced. We need your aspiration, your dedication, and the mutual respect you so readily show others. Finally, I urge you to live by the values of your university in all that you do. Be responsible, be open, be ambitious, and never settle for second best. I congratulate you on your awards and wish you every success for the future. Thank you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we now come to the formal part of the ceremony and I invite the Deputy Vice-Chancellor and Academic Registrar to make the formal declarations after which the students will process. They will be congratulated first by the Deputy Vice-Chancellor then by myself as the Executive Dean of the Faculty. 
Before that, though, and while we are getting students ready for their procession, we have prepared a short film of congratulations from colleagues across the university. It is my sincere pleasure to bring you warm wishes and congratulations on your graduation. Massive congratulations from me to you on completing your degree and becoming a graduate of the University of Portsmouth. You have achieved something extraordinary and the university is very proud of you and your classmates. Wishing you all the best for your graduation today and for your future careers. Well done. On behalf of all of us in CCI, a massive congratulations to all of the students. We wish you the best for your future. Congratulations from CCI. We look forward to seeing you move forward with many more wonderful achievements and milestones in your life ahead. We are committed to supporting you into the future and being part of your onward journey. You're now part of a global family of more than 250,000 Portsmouth alumni. I'm privileged to be a part of it too. I still remember the sense of pride and happiness from my mum and dad seeing me walk across the stage of the Guildhall. Congratulations to all of you. Well done for your achievements. You should be proud of yourself. Congratulations to everybody and all the best for your futures. Congratulations from everyone at the chaplaincy team. Take time to celebrate all you've achieved, the memories you've gathered, the friends you've made, and the person that you've become. My advice to you is to acknowledge the voices in your head, be attuned to the feelings in your heart, but always, always trust your gut. You've got this. I thank you for trusting those precious years to the University of Portsmouth and wish you all the very best for the many exciting things that life will offer you in the future. It is all about you and celebrating with your friends and family. And remember, you will always be part of Portsmouth. Congratulations on your graduation. Vice-Chancellor, as Academic Registrar, I certify that all those presented at this ceremony have successfully completed their studies and have satisfied all conditions and requirements of the University. By the authority of the University, I confirm that all those who are duly qualified are hereby admitted to the awards for which they are presented. Deputy Vice-Chancellor, I present to you the following successful candidates from the School of Art, Design and Performance. For the award of Bachelor of Arts in Fashion and Textile Design, Phoebe Herting. <clears throat> For the award of Bachelor of Arts in Illustration, Jenna Beams. Natasha Cole. <clears throat> Abiola Ishola. <clears throat> For the award of Master of Arts in Fashion and Textiles, Gemma Breach. Holla Jumoke a Yina Day Harundi Holla for the award of Master of Arts in Fashion Marketing, Ogo Chukwu NZ Adamu. Bradshaw.
Alicia Butt. Vilma Olofsson. For the award of Master of Arts in Fashion Marketing with Professional Experience, Shah E. Imran. Malavika Suresh. For the award of Master of Arts in Graphic Design, Amraji Banwal. Tom Campbell. Samuel Chambers. Utkasha Gangada Davika. Afulia Giofi. Momina Shukat. Brandon Smith. For the award of Master of Arts in Illustration, Connor Clements. Annabelle Lay. Chloe Windsor. For the award of Master of Arts in Photography, with the Art Design and Performance MA Studentship Award, Huma Ali. Akshaya Bharath Kumar. Karil Barita. Mia Curtis Mays. For the award of Doctor of Philosophy in Art and Design, an investigation into the impact of chitin amendments on the growth and nutritional properties of greenhouse lettuce and tomato crop production. Edward Collins. <laughs> the use of gold in contemporary artist books, continuing the traditions of using gold or golden materials in the book. Jane Savage. <laughs> Illustrated British cookbooks, 1939 to 1965, a close reading of cookbook illustration at textual communication and creative practice, Lorna Shepherd. This concludes the presentation of students from the School of Art, Design and Performance. Deputy Vice-Chancellor, I present to you the following successful candidates from the School of Film, Media and Communication for the award of Bachelor of Arts in Creative Writing, Awab Abbasi. <laughs> With the school award for best BA Creative Writing student, Isabel Calvert. <laughs> Nadia Carvalho. Charlotte Shandiram.
Scott Lowry. James O'Rourke. Jade Ogbekilu. Jacob Ogden. With the London Magazine Internship Prize, Ben Ritchie. Charlotte Smith. <laughs> Tiffany Williams. <laughs> For the award of Bachelor of Arts in English and Creative Writing, Erin Abbott. Octavia Bensley Bromilo. <laughs> Hanny Bentley. <laughs> With the London Magazine Publication Prize, Zoe Ingram. Manas Manumohan. <laughs> With the London Magazine Publication Prize, Elisa Perico Colombo. <laughs> Sophia Rashid. Nelly Wendland. <laughs> For the award of Bachelor of Arts in Film Production, Tiana Shea Taylor Amore. <laughs> Michelle Armstrong. James Attridge. Cameron Austin. With the Barbara Machin Award for Best Script in a Short Film, Tony Ball. Nicole Barbosa Philippe. <laughs> Evan Bevis. <laughs> Neve Bliss. <laughs> With the Filmlight Award for Best Colour Grading in a Short Film. Alexander Carpenter. <laughs> Emily Christodoulou. <laughs> With the Philip Barantini Award for Best Directing in a Short Film, Carter Clark. Jake Clark. <laughs> With the school award for best BA film production student, Isabella Collier. <laughs> Sophie Crompton. Olivia Page Crook. <laughs> With the Barbara Machin Award for Best Script in a Short Film, Harvey Davidson. <laughs> Jack
Donika Dimova. Usha Dobi. Dominika Drumstate. Harry Dunwoody. Ryan Edwards. With the Rain Dance Award for Best Short Film, Davy Ezra. <laughs> James Field. <laughs> With the Avid Award for Post Production Excellence, Charles Forrest. Liam Forrest. <laughs> Awarded posthumously, Owen Francis. Olivia Garniewska. <laughs> With the Rain Dance Award for Best Short Film, Thomas Hattam. <laughs> Kieran Hockey. Daniel Hill. With the Adam Knopf Award for Best Production Management in a Short Film, Lucy Hunnable. Jay Jones. Murphy Jones. Archie Killick. Zach Kingdom. Rebecca Kirkham. Daria Kadinovic. <laughs> Emily Langton. <laughs> Mia Cecilia Leo Ando. <laughs> Linter. <laughs> Lily Lowe. <laughs> George Luzuroyu. <laughs> Henry McGee. Harvey Martin. <laughs> Louis McDonald. <laughs> Max McKenna. <laughs> A 
Agata Mishka. Thomas Page. Armin Penzies Miranda Perry Bryony Pausty Bethan Powell Deluxe Rasaratnam Vonskorn Ratanankul Matteo Risby Thomas Aragota Radu Roshka Kalyani Sinalka Laura Stafford Tatiana Stakeover Samuel Stillwell with the Outpost Award for Best Editing and Visual Effects in a Short Film, Sune Strawn. Ming Yi Sun <laughs> Katrin Taneva Tepova <laughs> Jessica Thomas with the VMI Award for Best Cinematography in a short film, William Thurlby. John Tibble. Tommy Raj Vigentrathus. Louis Walker Grace Wells Meng Yao Yang Sophie Yeomans Atwood for the award of Bachelor of Arts in Film Studies, Thomas Barker. Christopher Bone. Callum Britter.
Elliot Brown. Daniel Chambers. Katie Eustace. Jake Evans. Lily Rose Hancocks. Matthew Lowe. For the award of Bachelor of Arts in Film Studies and Creative Writing, with the London Magazine Publication Prize, Leanne Brown. Yuaka <laughs> Gurung. Holly Maxted, <laughs> Divine Mbaduga, <laughs> Caleb Morris, <laughs> Millie Sefton. Caitlin Smedley, <laughs> with the London Magazine Internship Prize, Callum Tiller, For the award of Bachelor of Arts in Journalism, Charlotte Anderson. With the Bob Norris Award for Achievement, Joe Brennan. With the BA Journalism Best Special Investigation, Lauren Cox. Declan Dennehy. Amy Dobbin. Charlotte Gager. Victoria Gajewska. With the Briscoe PR Prize, Ross Marshall. Robert McCall. Matthew North. Nathan Philpot. Alexander Rushworth. Freya Stanger. For the award of Bachelor of Arts in Journalism with Media Studies, Tanatswa Dumbura. With the BA Journalism Best Dissertation Award, Elena Dimitrova. Mercedes Ferron Caesar.
Bradley Fox. James Gosby. Buani Kaka. <laughs> Martina Kinga Kowajeska. Yasmin Mensakoka. Yuzoma Obi Obanua. Abdul Rahman Oladzun Joya. Lily Petz. Emma Twilly. For the award of Bachelor of Arts in Media and Communication, Jamal Alagbi. With the School Award for Best BA Media and Communication Student, Charlotte Dunning. <laughs> Estella and Jolie Gonzalez. <laughs> Isabella Woodward. For the award of Bachelor of Arts in Media and Digital Practice, Harry Boyer. <laughs> Tanisha Brooks. <laughs> Rico Carini. <laughs> Libby Carter. Kieran Catamol. <laughs> Janelle De Silva. <laughs> Erin Fenner. <laughs> With the school award for best BA media and digital practice student, Ella Hinckley. <laughs> Lily Johnson. <laughs> Michael Cunio. <laughs> and Corvisita and Tuli. Holly Patterson. <laughs> Leanne Russell. <laughs> Thanapom U Ninkum. Chloe Webb. <laughs> Millicent Wright. <laughs> Entong Zhang. <laughs> For the award of Bachelor of Arts in Media Studies, 
Shahzeb Ali. Kimia Amini. Nicholas Bryant. Nandipa Chinambiri. Gaida Dash. Louis de la Riviere. Francis English. Karine Hazuchova. Albatul Jahaf. Marina Kiki. Ethan Kings. Michael Langford. Lache Lamond Bardabo. Ho Hin Lee. Mariam Mir. <laughs> Jacob Munt. <laughs> Kyle Nelson. <laughs> Lewis Rogers. Laura Selby. <laughs> Joe Thornley. <laughs> Rihanna Ward. <laughs> Oliver White. For the award of Bachelor of Arts in Television Production, and with the School Award for Best BA Television Production Student, Alex Arroyo Rodriguez. <laughs> Bethan Jenkins. Ludus Larima Vichus. <laughs> Warren Simmons. <laughs> For the award of Bachelor of Science in Television and Broadcasting, Sebastian Anastasakis Esteban. Eleanor Apted. <laughs> Joseph Aristidou. <laughs> Lewis Dodson. <laughs> Drew Gavin.
Bethany James. <laughs> Hela Salim Johar. <laughs> With the Sky Broadcast Award for Best Television Production, <laughs> Darush Christoph Kaczynski. Christo Kovitz. <laughs> Oliver Langton. Yeah! <laughs> Kieran McCarthy. Harvey Millis. <laughs> Carla Morrissey. <laughs> With the Sky Television Award for Broadcasting, Luke Mumford. Luke Ray. Samuel Reed. Dominic Scott. Mary Smith. Megan Snell. Evangeline Spring. Anna Stateva. With the Sky Television Award for Broadcasting, Ben Chu. <laughs> Kieran Thomas. <laughs> Luke Ties. With the Sennheiser UK Award for Best Audio in a Short Film, Leon Waldo. <laughs> Samuel Walsh. <laughs> for the Award of Bachelor of Science in Sociology, Justin Aged Buji Afalabi. <laughs> For the award of Bachelor of Arts Media Studies, Alicia Tromans Ansel. <laughs> For the award of Master of Arts in Creative Writing, Dominica Clemente Cascarino. <laughs> Matthew Crowther. <laughs> Mary Daisy. <laughs> Emily Howes. Malika Jeddy.
Chloe Linton. <laughs> Munia Rahman. <laughs> Alexandra Scohen. <laughs> Ella Toghill. For the award of Master of Arts in Media and Communication, Holly Baldwin. Nathan Bradbury. Sabrina Carolan. Shin Yu Chen. <laughs> Megan Foote. <laughs> Sahana Islam. <laughs> Shannon King. Fawzia Mubarak. <laughs> Rigi de los Reyes Ocajeon. <laughs> Annette Arlo Owinga. Dara. Laiba Rahim. <laughs> MD Masood Rana. <laughs> Mistura Shalola. For the award of Master of Research in Creative Practice, Gregory Smith. <laughs> For the award of Master of Research in Theatre Performance, Leah Abdul. <laughs> Keris Coppins. Anna Pepper. <laughs> Sapphire Rance. <laughs> Megan Webb. For the award of Master of Research in Visual Culture, Rachel Crosby. For the award of Master of Science in Film and Television, Mark Adaka. With the school award for best MSc film and television student, James Dunlop. <laughs> Mdiatical Hack. <laughs> Hannah Howard. Molly Tuck. For 
the award of Masters of Science in Educational Leadership and Management, Mohammed Jakara Alam. For the award of Doctor of Philosophy in Film, Media and Communication, Difference and Documentary, Images of Autism in Contemporary British Factual Television, Amy Attrill. <laughs> the Paper Talisman, The Weight of Words, Annabelle Bidwell-Richards. Real Terror in an Unreal Place, Haunted Hollywood and Transplanted Trauma, Jordan Osborne. <laughs> Gun Baby Gun and The Price of Paradise, Ian Overton. Deputy Vice-Chancellor, this concludes the presentation of students from the School of Film, Media and Communication and for today's ceremony. At this time, at this point in the ceremony, we normally hear from Karen Blackett, our Chancellor, but she is unable to be with us at this ceremony. However, she never likes to miss a graduation ceremony, so let's hear a specifically recorded message from Karen. Hi, I'm Karen Blackett, and I am the Chancellor of the University. Massive congratulations from me to you on completing your degree and becoming a graduate of the University of Portsmouth. We have something in common. I am also a graduate of the University and have been where you are today. Although it was a very long time ago, I still remember the sense of pride and happiness from my mum and dad seeing me walk across the stage of the Guildhall. They were first generation immigrants from Barbados to the UK and my graduation was a huge achievement for them both, not just me. I also remember my own overwhelming feeling of relief and happiness that I had done it, but also slight trepidation about what was next. Getting my degree was the first big step in a lifelong journey of learning and I continue to learn and develop every single day. Graduating is an amazing achievement. I hope you take the time to pause for a moment and really celebrate. Take the time to reflect on what you have just accomplished and your time at Portsmouth. Please share your stories of your next steps. We love to hear about the great things our graduates are doing as it inspires the next generation. Now, as you enter the next phase of your lifelong journey of learning, you will face constant changes. There will be many highs, but there will also be bumps in the road. The socio-political environment we find ourselves in today may be bringing some anxiety. Rising inflation and the cost of living are all real challenges that we face. This environment, combined with the constant arrival of new technological developments, innovations and changes in ways of working, means that we find ourselves living constantly in what psychologists call the learning dip. During the period when you are learning something new, your performance will naturally dip. But over time, as you get more experience, your performance rises again. The issue for all of us, however, is that we're constantly having to learn new things as the world is changing so quickly. Hence, we are constantly being plunged into the dip, which can trigger fear and worry. Worry that we will initially not be totally competent 
and that we'll get ourselves into trouble as a result. This naturally affects our confidence. So when this happens, I want you to remember something for me. Whenever you feel like you can't, I want you to turn that thought into, I can't yet, because you will be able to do it, whatever it is. With the right support, encouragement and perseverance, you can and you will achieve. You have so much to offer. We believe in you, I believe in you. The university will be there to support you and be your cheerleaders. You're now part of a global family of more than 250,000 Portsmouth alumni. I'm privileged to be a part of it too. Make the most of the wonderful connections, networks and mentoring that this community opens up. You will have times ahead where you are not sure about what the right decision is. What is the right thing to do? My advice to you is to acknowledge the voices in your head, be attuned to the feelings in your heart, but always, always trust your gut. You've got this. Now one last thing, and it's important. Please take the time to look up from your screens and look around you. Really look. You can change the world by starting with the world immediately around you. You have the ability to make it a much, much better place. I genuinely believe that every single one of us has a superpower inside us. Find it, nurture it and use it. That is an amazing gift and please use it wisely. I'm really relying on you to do this. But right now, however, it's all about you and celebrating with your friends and family. Enjoy, you deserve it. And remember, you will always be part of Portsmouth. I want to add my congratulations to all of you who have graduated and also to all those who supported the graduates while they studied at the university. I now declare the congregation closed. Please be upstanding for the academic procession. <laughs>